Okay, my loved ones, I'm back. Uh, so first of all, I'm not a financial advisor, neither that this is financial advice. Um, so this is the video about what I told you in the last video that is gonna be about the topic for why haven't all these peop uh, companies covered their positions? When they got in at the 40s and the 50s and the 30s, why haven't they covered their short positions? Have, have, why, why do you think no one have covered this? Why do you think no YouTuber out there have talked about this? You know why? Because none of them know the answer. Most of the YouTubers, unfortunately, go off of other YouTubers, in uh, like you know info, info, and they that's where they where they base their uh, topics on or what what they, you know, put out their narrative uh, about. Um, so it's kind of like news channels, um, you know, some have access to the news first and then the rest get get it and start distributing it so that they can give out to theirs, you know. Anyways, I'm not going to stick on that too much, but here's the thing. I'm going to tackle something that no other YouTuber is talking about. There's any well, I guess guess I, I guess I've missed them, but you know, I don't know. I, I I guess I don't go around. I can't I can't blame them because I don't go around watching all the YouTube channels. And seeing what they all have to say about all that stuff. We're too busy trying to see what's going to happen with our place. That's what we need to pay attention to. And the news that's happening outside. So the theory of why haven't they covered. Because if this is true, think of it. I mean, logically, what is a short position? Is when you take on a position, you buy the shares and you sell them short on the market at, at, the, at a certain price. Thinking or hoping or knowing, in some cases, that the price is going to drop. So from that position, so if you bought it at 45, like a lot of hedge funds did with our AMC and the other meme stocks, then you that's where your ceiling is, starts at 45. If it goes, as, as much as it goes under, you're in a profit. The lower it goes, the more profit you make. Now, if it crashes through your roof and it goes above 45, if it goes 45 or one, you're automatically in the loss. And that's where we're talking about margin calls because when they get to a certain percent, depending on what these banks out there are willing to offer their friends, um, normally it's somewhere between you know 10 to 20 percent. That's like a red flag over red flag is being thrown. So. If these hedge funds that all got into the 40s, I remember because I've been in this before even January of 2021. So I know that there's a lot of hedge funds that got in short way before January of 2021. That's why they, we are, we, we like, you know, we're holding, uh, we're, we're in this place since then. Now, majority of these other hedge funds were in at the seven, six, eight, nine, $10 level. Those guys have apparently been drowning in the pool for a long time regardless. But what about those guys that got in in the 40s and the 50s? <laughs> it's all the way down to 15, 14 at some point last week. Why didn't you exit? Why are they still holding? What, they really have aspirations that AMC is going to go to zero? That Like that's how greedy they are? No. Because again, this goes against the narrative of if they're buying all these crazy shares, because those are the same institutes, they're buying all these crazy shares amounts to sell at a hundred. If that, like, see, this tackles that idea of why they are not going to sell at no cheap number, because why would they sell at a hundred or a 200 or a 400 or at 800? If that short position they just had from 45 that went all the way down to 13 was not good enough. Okay, there's a lot of confusion here. You just probably got confused. And I'll tell you why this doesn't, uh, why you shouldn't be confused because none of that makes sense. My, my thing is on this, that this whole, what we're looking at number on the, on, the, on the screens and whatever is all crap and bullshit. Or if it's real and it's really tackled down this low, which is, I, I, I can't see how, because it doesn't cor correlate with the with the valuation of the company, like it literally doesn't. So, obviously, there's outside influence influencing these lines. So, 
why aren't these guys getting out? If, if they're, I mean, there is so much in the prophet. Well, one, because they know what they're holding, their shorts are real. But what they have been bringing the price down from the 60s and the 70 when we ran up to 74, all this movement down to uh, to the you know to the 13 that we were at last week or 14. All that has been manipulated synthetic shares. It's kind of like a second system to a to the first system that that in that second system, you know, it, it's running like it thinks that it has all real shares. They're all synthetic, so it's being shorted and it's being played with, and that's what's being given to us. You know, that's what is being showed to us. The the show away from the show, the second show. Now. The reason why they can't cover is because they can't cover synthetic crap. They can't cover real short, like short positions with a synthetic price, with synthetic crap out there. They can't use those to cover that. That's why, that's why you see all of them are still holding. Otherwise, even the ones in the eights, in the sevens, in the sixes, even the fives, why would they wait until AMC skyrockets to 20, to 30, 40, 50, 60, 200, 300, 400 to get mauled and get out and close their short positions? They can get out right now. It's so easy. Even if they're losing, but it's not like a crazy loss. They could just cover right now. Lose a, a few dollar, a few millions here and there. That's it. Because they can't cover with synthetic crap they can't cover their sh real shorts with synthetic crap as simple as that so all we've been doing for a year and a half is one losing major amounts of money and options and losing a lot of paper hands in the process as well of people that could just couldn't hang on they either over leveraged themselves in this play they put too much uh expecting so much in return in such a short time and it did not happen so they got uh you know mauled and unfortunately i mean my heart goes out to anyone and everyone out there that went through that i'm one of these people you know that went through things like that so i know what it feels like exactly and trust me i know what it feels like my family knows what it feels like so that's what all, all we've been going through for the whole last year is just them psychologically breaking us down and more down and more down if you look at it both of my videos have been nothing like if you sum them up it's mainly about the psychological warfare that we're up against that's it if you eliminate that factor and you know they say the most dangerous man is the man who has nothing to lose i know you might have leveraged everything on this and all that but for personally for me it's not about sticking it to anyone or no one or even leading anyone to somewhere or getting this and all that. But I did not go through all this crap to get out with pennies on the dollar at the end. I'm taking out, I'm taking out body parts when I'm leaving. Like literally, like I'm taking out livers and kidneys, you know, because, because, you know, they put me and my family through so much pain and 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 patience and suffering throughout this to get to this and you know may the best man win and when the super bowl comes because i feel like we're in the playoffs now i feel like right now we're in the playoffs this upcoming week is the beginning um finally it's not regular season anymore la whole la all last year almost year and a half has been nothing but the regular season regular games see who's gonna make it to the playoffs and who's not now we're in the playoffs. Whoever's still here by now, congrats. The work does not stop. We don't stop because we feel like that's it. We got here now. We didn't go nowhere. We didn't win. Till we win, till we get to the Super Bowl and win. That's 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 the that's the mindset and the and and the emotions uh, that we need to have going into this from this point on out. Um, so guys, have no fear. The end is near. Uh, I love you all. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section. Um, I feel like sometimes when I speak, because I speak emotionally, really from the bottom of my heart. Um, and for those who know me personally, they know that I have zero filters. So I, I, I always, you know, put out what's here and what's here. I put it there. 
So sometimes I can get lost into, because I don't really collect all the thoughts. I just speak on what I know, you know, and I speak, I speak it all out. So if you have any questions that might have, you know, scanned over throughout the video, uh, that I missed something, whatever you want to know, put it down in the comment section. Please subscribe, like the videos, um, and let's see what happens tomorrow. I'll be with you. We'll be together. We're going to win the Super Bowl, guys. Much love. AB Investments.